Hi guys and ladies, I've made low carb crispy fish before and I've made fish sandwiches. Well, maybe we could tweak these recipes to make crispy fish cheeseburgers. I have everything I need for this, I I except one thing, the fish. Well, let's get out there and do some shopping. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. So Right, a nice perch way down deep under the boat. A trolling we shall go. I got one, I got one. Ha ha, there's the one I'm looking for. Thank you for showing up. Nice size. Let me show you what I'm using today. This is just a one and a half inch piece of plastic. It's the body of the smallest beetle spin lure. Just the body. It doesn't take much to charm a bluegill. Ah, yes, yes, another dinner guest. Oh, it had been a long time between fish, believe me. Oh, it's so big. Look. Wow. I think so. I think so. Now we're talking. I can't believe it. For some reason this summer, they're in the middle of the lake. They're not by the usual spots along the shore. Yeah. I just lost a massive perch. Ah, it's kind of little, but that's all right. It's edible. Okay. Oh, that's a nice one. went. It's been months. Look at the size of this thing. My crappie are still here. I'll fillet them and throw them in the freezer. My whole life just flashed before me. The, the whole stringer went in the water and down. I lost it and I dove in and I was able, thank goodness the water was clear enough. I was able to just grab it. Come out from under that boat. It's a good one. What a bluegill cheeseburger you will make. I've got more than enough for this recipe. Let's get in the house 
fillet our little boys, and tomorrow we'll work on those crispy fish cheeseburgers. Yesterday, after hours of fishing, I was securing that crappie when the stringer slipped out of my hand and I realized the fish on it were swimming away. I could see the line. It was sinking deeper and deeper, so I plunged my arm in and I just managed to grab it to save the day. I was able to get over two pounds of fillets from our catch, but I'm only going to use these bluegill fillets, eight bluegill fillets for our cheeseburger. That's it. Let's get started. Now we have to make a breading for our fried fish. I, 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 it can't be just breading. Breading is high in carbs. We're going to do this low carb. So it's breading in quotes and I got the recipe from a fried chicken recipe. Low carb fried chicken. Let's see if it works on fish. I'm going to start off with two cups of ground up pork rinds. Look, I didn't grind these myself. I bought them already ground. Next we're going with one and three quarters cups of whey protein powder, unflavored. And this is what it comes in. See, whey protein. Now it says two tablespoons of oat fiber. Well, I don't have oat fiber, but I do have two tablespoons of coconut flour. And both are very absorbent. I suppose it's in there for the absorption factor. I don't know. Here's a teaspoon of onion powder. Here's a cup of grated pecorino romano, one of my favorite cheeses. Of course, you could use the parmesan that comes in the green container. Here's a tablespoon and a half of Zatarain's Creole seasoning. Freshly ground pepper as you like. Then we're going to whisk this well and de-lumpify it. I put the lid on this. This doesn't hurt to do this. The recipe calls for four large eggs. Well, this is a large one, but these three are extra large. And if this recipe doesn't work out, it's solely because of the wrong size eggs. Well, let's see, here goes. Now in goes a half cup of cream. Now the same amount of water. And we just made low carb milk. Here's our fish and let's put it in the egg wash. Drown it in there. Okay, now I'm gonna let these things drain and drain. And they have to be well drained, so tune in again tomorrow. And once they're drained, I'm gonna put them in our flour breading. And I'm gonna leave them there because if I take them out and put them on a plate after they're breaded, they turn into glue because of that whey protein. So just leave them there and let's continue. Okay, our last piece going in. Now we're going to seal this container up and pray. Let's fry them up. Look how big they are. I'm just going to do two at a time. Let's see how it goes. Two, two and a half minutes? I don't know. They look good. It's been about two and a half minutes. like them. I'm going to put them on a rack. Let them drain or do whatever. Let's get on and finish up the rest of them. So let's top each piece of fish with extra sharp cheddar. Why cheddar? Because it's better. Extra sharp. Now I'm just going to keep our tiny tunas in a warm oven so we can work on our buns. 
I'm going to butter both sides of these buns. But these are not ordinary buns. Uh, uh, uh. These are smart buns. They're zero carbs, net. I ordered them online. They get a good rating. Well, let's see if they're any good. I don't know. I think I can get all the buns on this rack. Let's see. I'm always hazy on how to work this thing. Ah. Press toast and then start. I may have over toasted the buns just a little. I was uh, distracted because of a spider. I went to war. I won. So first we're going to add a little tartar sauce of your choosing. Now let's add our crispy, cheesy fish. Some tomato. Thinly sliced sweet onion. Little lettuce for garnish. Little more sauce. Here's our bluegill fish cheeseburger. Crispy. Our table is all set and it looks good. Well, I have a second. You should all know the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks is on her way here for dinner tonight and I'm exuberant. Uh, but I ought to uh, tamp down my exuberance. You see, after decades of courting her, she still doesn't seem much interested in marrying me and I don't know what to do about it except to point out the wonderful life we would have if we were husband and wife. I don't know. Well, it's my privilege once again to have here with me tonight the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. Thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, shoddy, shabby shanty. And you had the opportunity to desirously devour my crispy, cheesy bluegill burgers. And I'd love to know what you thought of them. They were very good. They looked and tasted just like regular big boy burgers. They were very oh, good. Very and um, I thought the fish was lovely. And I did eat, you know, one of them without the bun right. because, because I could really enjoy the fish that way. The but buns it, were okay. They were fine. They were very good. Everything was nice, and I loved the onions and the tartar sauce. It was all very, very good mixture. Thank you. Thank you so much. Miss Cheeks? Oh, I can say Lulu. Yes. Uh, you, you know what I think? I think love and marriage are just one long, sweet dream. Love may be, but marriage is the alarm clock. Huh? <laughs> can I have a hug? <laughs> <laughs>